This is the gag order in place should Leon Ford Jr. be retried in this courthouse. Ford's dad took a risk speaking out publicly about the case, and the DA has some things to say in return. It came during this rally at Freedom Corner. They got a gag order on my son. They paralyzed my son. I'm talking for him and I'm walking for him now. Leon Ford Jr. is paralyzed from the chest down from being shot by police. A jury found him not guilty of assaulting an officer, but deadlocked when Ford was trying to escape, putting police in danger in a traffic stop. Leon Ford will never walk again. He does not need to walk into a prison. Ford's father urged the DA. I'm sure, Stephen Sapala, you have kids, and I'm sure you know what's going on. Ain't no sense of covering it up. Either come on and refile the charges or drop the charges so we continue with our life. A court order says all associated with the parties are prohibited from making statements about the case. Even if it's a violation of the gag order, I'm, I'm not going to do anything about that. Uh, Mr. Ford is speaking on behalf of his son, and understandably, he's upset about what happened to his son. I'm Leon Ford Sr. My son's Leon Ford Jr., and this is number three. So when I die, he's going to pick up. And he's going to keep fighting. We're going to keep fighting. We ain't going to give up. The prosecution claims it has a year to decide on retrying Ford. Or do you need up to a full year? No, we don't. And I, I, and I know it's an important issue in the community. So I'll address it as, as, as soon as I can. But this is like everything that we do. It's a thoughtful process, I hope. On October 31st, the judge will hold a hearing on whether to lift the gag order. We may also hear on that date if the DA will retry Ford. At the county courthouse downtown, Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.